Lord, send the rain. Pour out your spirit. Let the fire fall. Heal us one and all. Fall fresh on me. Lord, send the rain. Pour out your spirit. Let the fire fall. Heal us one and all. Fall fresh on me. Holy, Holy Spirit. Let the fire fall. Heal us one and all. Fall fresh on me. It is still May the 6th, 2020. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And Father, I ask, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who are indebted to us. Father, I ask for the fruits of the Spirit in, of the Spirit in Jesus' name. And Father, I ask, I ask that you... Help me with the whole armor of God, Father. Not God, Father. And Father, thy will be done. And Father, I I need I need your spirit right now. As my circumstances are just so So um precarious Father I I ask you in Jesus name to fill me with your spirit. Okay, let's read. Amen. Acts chapter eleven. And the apostles and brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. And when Peter was come up to Jerusalem, they that were of this circumcision contended with him, saying, Thou wentest in to men uncircumcised, and didst eat with them. But Peter rehearsed the matter from the beginning, and expounded it by order unto them, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision, a certain vessel descend, as it had been a great sheet let down from heaven by four corners, and it came unto me, upon which when I had fastened, with, fastened my eyes, I considered, and saw four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Peter, slay and eat. But I said, Not so, Lord, for nothing co common or unclean hath at any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, What God hath cleansed, that thou not that thou not thou call not thou common that call not <laughs> tongue tied that call not thou common. And this was done three times, and all were drawn up again into heaven. And behold, immediately there were three men already come into the house where I was, sent from Caesarea unto me, and the Spirit bade me go with them, no, nothing doubting. Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me, and we entered into the man's house, and he showed us how we had seen an angel in his house, which stood and said unto him, Send men to Joppa, and call for Simon, whose surname is Peter, who shall... Who shall tell these words, the words, whereby thou and all thy house shall be saved? And as I began to speak, the Holy Ghost fell on them, 
and and on us at the beginning. Then remembered I the word of the Lord, how that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. For as much then as God gave them the like gift as he did unto us, who believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, what was I, that I could withstand God? When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified God, saying, Then hath God also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life. Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen travailed as far as Phenis and, and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which, when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed, and turned unto the Lord. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church which was in Jerusalem, and they sent forth Barabbas, Barnabas, not Barabbas, Barnabas, that he should go as far as Antioch, who, when he came, had seen the grace of God, was glad, and exhorted them all, that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord. For he was, for he was a good man, and full of the Holy Ghost, and of faith, and much people was added unto the Lord. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus to seek Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him in unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. And in these days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. And there stood up on... Uh, up one of them named Agabus, and signif signified by the Spirit that there should be great dearth throughout all the world, which came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. Then the disciples, every man according to his ability, determined to send relief unto the brethren which dwelt in Ju Judea, which also they did, and sent it to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 12. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church, and he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw it pleased the, Jew because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to take, Peter to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. Huh. So King Herod stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it please the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Hmm. Then were the days of unleavened bread. So the Passover? Huh. Is that what this means? And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four court... Quart quarternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have, would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison and behold the angel of the Lord came upon him and a light shined in the prison and he, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise quickly and his chains fell off from his hands <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> and the angel said unto him gird thyself and bind on <laughs> Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals, and so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, 
but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second ward, they came into the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord, and they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the, the angel departed from him. <laughs> so the angel ushered him out. <laughs> <laughs> and when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath sent his angel and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered, <laughs> were gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, the damsel came to hearken, named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art mad, but she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. <laughs> but Peter continued knocking, and when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he, beckoning, beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. <laughs> And he said, Go show these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. Now as soon as it was day, there was no, there was no small stir among the soldiers. What was become of Peter? <laughs> They're like, where did he go? And when Herod had sought for him and found him not, he examined the keepers and commanded that they should be put to death. And he went down from Judea to Caesarea and there abode. <laughs> so Herod said, huh? So he killed all of his soldiers. Okay. And Herod was highly displeased with them of Tyre and, and Seat, Sight, Sidon, Sidon, Sidon. I don't know how you pronounce that word. But they came with one accord to him. And having made Blastus the king's chamberlain their friend, desired peace. Desired peace because their country was nourished by the king's country. <laughs> and upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made an or oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a god and not of a man. <laughs> and immediately the angel of the Lord smote him. Because he gave God not he gave not God the glory, and he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. Hallelujah. But the word of God grew and multiplied, and Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem, where they had fulfilled their ministry, and took with them John, whose surname was Mark. Oh glory, hallelujah. God's word is awesome. Our God is awesome, so awesome.